Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshek. Today is Monday, April 11th, and we finally have our uh, NHL playoff seedings all set, and we're going to get some opening thoughts with uh, SBR contributor Dana Lane, who's uh, given us some great analysis and winning picks, doing great in our videos um, over the last few days of the regular season. Dana Lane, thanks for being with us. All right, the NHL playoffs, always very, very exciting. A lot of times in the playoffs in the NHL, you see teams that killed it in the regular season flounder in the uh, in the playoffs. There are some teams that are notorious for that. Uh, let's start with the East, Philly, Washington. Obviously, Washington the uh, won the President's Trophy, but they were a losing team down the stretch of the regular season in the last few games after they clinched it. And they could get a run from their money from Philly, who really came on strong at the end of the year. Uh, there are some unspectacular even strength shot metrics uh, that could come into play for Washington. What's your take on uh, first round matchup, Philly, Washington? Well, this is going to be very difficult for me, Pete, to side with Washington. Uh, they're going to be a huge favorite. They're right. going to be over two dollars in this series uh, I'm not a huge fan of Philadelphia even though they had a tremendous run at the end and they knew they were going to play Washington for a long time uh, I anticipate Barry Trotz's team to play like they did during the regular season now that the postseason is here uh, Washington is 40 and 16 after scoring two goals or less in the previous game so that means I expect a bounce back effort in the first in the first game Okay, and then let's talk about the Rangers and the Penguins. You know, the Penguins are usually a team that uh, historically has not done well in the playoffs relative to how awesome they have looked at times in their regular seasons. And this year, they're, uh, they're, they've got a lot of injuries, right? You look at their, their injury list, it's like that's all the big marquee names that's on their roster are all the, are all the names on the, uh, on the injury list. Sidney Crosby, Malkin. Mark andre Fleury, all those guys are, are on their injury list. And, uh, you know, so they could be vulnerable here against the Rangers. I guess the big X factor is Lundqvist. How, uh, how awesome will he be? Uh, you know, the shot metrics for the Rangers are not too inspiring uh, as far as the playoffs are concerned. But if, if, if you know, if the, Ranger, if, if the Penguins are seriously banged up and the Rangers get uh, awesome play from Lundqvist, they could easily upset the Penguins here, right? Uh, no doubt about it. I mean, obviously we saw last year where defense carried them uh, pretty far. I mean, and yeah. I expect this to open up at minus $1.35. I think you're going to see a ton of Penguin money coming in. So if you like the Rangers, I think you're going to get a nice plus money option uh, with, with them. Uh, you also could see Ryan McDonough back, uh, which would help them out defensively as well. And as you mentioned, a ton of Penguin uh, to, uh, injuries. Uh, it will be interesting to see how well Marc-Andre Fleury will play coming back from a concussion. But in this series, it's Pittsburgh or nothing for me. But in the latter series, I think those injuries are going to start to add up. Okay, and then another team with a big, uh, with, you know, a lot of injury concerns is Tampa Bay, right? Detroit at Tampa Bay is the, is the next matchup we're going to discuss. And Tampa Bay, of course, uh, made it to the Stanley Cup Finals last year. During the regular season, looked great, but injuries, is, there's, there's no way around that. If you have a great team for long stretches of the regular season and then the playoffs come and the injury bug hits you, that's it. You're, you're, pro you're, you're vulnerable to being cooked. Detroit, though, is a team that, uh, you know, they're one of these teams that snuck into the playoffs that maybe overall adding it all up doesn't quite look like a playoff caliber team. Their goal differential uh, this year was terrible. But then again, maybe they're catching a break with all the injuries at Tampa Bay. What do you think? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Detroit, and I, I, I don't love Jeff Blaschel and, and the way that this team is going into the playoffs. When I hear my head coach talk about defensive lapses, that's not going to get it done in the playoffs. I think you are going to see a lot of Detroit money coming in when this line finally opens. I expect Tampa to be at minus $1.30 or so. But even with the injuries, I think that's probably an overreaction to all the Detroit injuries, including the Stamkos injuries, the, the biggest one, of course. But I think that you're going to see a Tampa Bay team that's going to outclass Detroit even without Stamkos. Okay, sounds good. And then uh, the Islanders at Florida is the last matchup in the East. And this one, I'm thinking that uh, that uh, Florida might have a substantial edge here. I think they might be worth a bet. They they were great with uh, with even strength uh, on even strength during the year. Their even strength goal differential uh, is very strong. Uh, their weakness is special teams, which might not come into play so much, especially in this opening series. And uh, you know, I'm thinking that uh, of all the uh, the underdog uh, matchups here, that maybe the Islanders are the one that really is is facing a uh, a formidable opponent. I would lean Florida here. What do you think? Uh, I'm right with you, Pete. I mean, I'm a huge fan of, of Florida. And, and I think they're right where the Blackhawks were last year. I had the Blackhawks at that four spot in my power rankings, and that's exactly where I have Florida this year. And we, we saw what the Blackhawks did. I anticipate this line to open up at Florida minus $1.35 and some Florida money to come in as well. 
but but there's no way I'm going to be on the Islanders in this right. one. Uh, it does look like Willie Mitchell, uh, who took part in morning skate this morning, is going to be back. So that's going to help out Florida. And, and the Islanders are seven and twenty in their last twenty-seven quarterfinal games. So this is not an organization I want to back going into the playoffs. Okay, sounds like we're pretty much in agreement on the East. Thanks for your thoughts, Dana Lane.